Hey guys, welcome back to another DM Duel commentary. So we got King Vampire here at 1100 versus Mike Rodriguez here at 1200, and we also have Omega Chaos again. Hi, I'm actually see it again. <laughs> and it looks like we got Light Swords versus yeah. some kind of Blue Eyes Dragon variant. So two for a while. Yeah, All right, creature stop, take his freaking right, and then that's pretty random. That is pretty random. Use its effect. <laughs> and then he's gonna take the right in, right in, and ram it into the egg and then search for blood. Have an honest, have an honest, have an honest. Oh, and, oh, that'd be funny if he did have an honest, though. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Yep. And it's the owner of the card, not the controller. So it goes to his graveyard and resolves, he gets the blue eyes. Alright, so it looks like we've got two aggressive decks here. Yes. So, wait, how would it go? Oh, okay. I would send the breakthrough skill too. And another egg. Well, mmm. Some... <laughs> He's like, I was like, oh, you're using life signs? I can use life signs too. <laughs> Alright, Mike, what are you gonna do? So, is it light sworn rulers? It looks like, uh, it looks like, uh, Twilight. Yeah. yeah. Seems like it. The Tragodia, I mean, that's, that's that's something Twilight runs. Alright. Yes. You wanna pitch out? Yeah. Oh. Oh, was Mally too? I guess well, then it's the Chaos Lights one deck. Yeah. Uh, Looks like, yeah, Chaos Lights one. I'm sorry. Possible Leo here. Yeah. Leo is strong. I would go into him. Yeah, he's one of the most powerful synchros. Yes. And maybe that's why it's one of the things that, yep. Oh, it's actually Chaos Dragons. Yeah, it's actually Chaos Dragons. It actually makes me happy to be running uh, artifacts in my Constellar so I can summon Moral Talk. Because if I didn't have Moral Talk, then I, I, I probably wouldn't even know what to do. Did he mail lights on? I wasn't paying attention. Oh, I guess not. Hmm? Why don't you make a Leo? Why you no make Leo? No idea. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna tell you how to play Yu-Gi-Oh. Yes, you did. Fail. Yeah, fail. Okay, that okay. card. Why? Yeah. I could have done something from the graveyard, I guess. Oh, I guess he wants to go you back. Okay. Ugh, the mills are disgusting. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. And King Vampire is turboing through his deck. Will we see a soul charge? Don't be surprised if we do. It's like watching the same deck again. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's Burial. Oh. Well, Grand. Well, Banish from the hand. Okay. So, yeah, so I guess they're both in his hand. Yep, the Felgrand is coming. What's the name of this deck? Blue Eyes. Yeah, what deck? The, the the blue eyes with the chaos dragons. What's the name of the deck? It's called Mythic Triangle. Oh, okay. Well, what about the last video? He didn't he didn't run uh, the Mythic Dragon. So what's it just called with Dragon Ruler and Blue Eyes? Yeah, Blue Eyes Dragon Rulers. Okay, okay. Again, I gotta figure out what the hell the name of the 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 duels. <laughs> Freaking so many variants of the same goddamn deck of just aggressiveness. I could be even make Felgrand. Why'd you? Why didn't you make? F like now you make Felgrand. Why don't you make Felgrand before the battle phase? Yeah, Felgrand is so powerful card. It's very hard to get over that. 
Yeah. Yeah, but say, wait, you didn't draw one card. And drawing for Max C is mandatory. Yes. Remember, when they can actually deck you out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna pitch and get back. Right in, I guess. Yeah, right in, I guess. Like I said, you still gotta deal with Felgren. Like Felgren, Felgren is an asshole. Right? Yes. And I know. I play. I play an asshole because I play Pleiades. So Felgren's an asshole. <laughs> and when you duel against Tiago and he drops Felgren and Pleiades first turn on you, and Tiago's a super. Asshole. I also play play Felgren in many of my decks. <laughs> so freaking good. So, when you tell me how you're gonna deal with, uh, Felgren. He's over the attack barrier, spell speed 2, he can make shit unaffected and negate his effect. Felgren's so fucking good! Like, what are you going to do, Mr. Chaos Dragon player? Still got a lot of resources, but you're just yes, trying to do even... Mm -hmm. Michael will get negated, and everything will just be negated. Will we see a Michael? Maybe a Black Rose? Yeah, most likely. Alright, Michael. Well, don't ask Okay, okay. And then detach chain and make my, uh, and make a Felgren unaffected, right? Yes. Alright. I'm not sure if, if, that, if that was a good move. I'm not sure if that was a good move either. <sighs> I would just save the TT. Huh? Yes. Michael. Same here. Michael get his effect because you could have just negated the Michael. Yes. And then when he would have tried to step over the boundary and overextend with a play to take out the Felgren. Yeah, the lights one player doesn't seem like very good. No. All right. Well, this is your opportunity. Hopefully, you got something to allow you to take out that Felgren. Is any time to drop a JD? Oh, let's say GG. Let's say what the fuck? What do you mean GG? Nothing's happened yet. You have five cards in hand. You better not be quitting. Are we gonna see Zen mains? Oh, okay. There's the light dragon. Overlay into Levia. Oh. Yeah, Levia. Okay. And you will be getting back, Lumina. Okay. He's burning the hell out of his hand, but... Make another Michael? Well, Felgren is going most likely to be staying on the field. Yeah. Because now it's unaffected. Yes. Okay. I guess... Suicide into that. Yeah, so I guess you're going to suicide? Yes. Like, you don't have any other... Synchro that you kind of went into? That's stronger than Felgren? This guy... This guy... Oh, never mind, that's game. Oh, yeah. I wasn't Indeed. even paying attention to the life points, that's game. That's okay, I guess we are moving on to... Game 2. Alright. So, I guess all, all that overextending was worth it. And it did win, yeah. and that real player did waste, waste that turn toll. That did seem like a waste. Yes. So now we play the waiting game while they side. Ah. That was, that was pretty impressive. It was both some aggressive plays. I'm just really surprised that he had nothing that he could sink eight that's stronger than Scrapdragon or Felgren. Which is really odd, I think. You would think that maybe, you know, he... What, besides Beals? <laughs> it's just Beals and Bust, is that it? There's a lot of a pack row for a freaking Mythic Ruler. Yes. Maybe he does play back row in his deck. Many Dragon Ruler players now even main Ruler Decree. They main deck Ruler Decree? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a new trend. Why not? 
Moto is an awesome card. Love it. Like, really, why do you care? You can just go so ham with it. Wait, what happened to Mally? No idea. I guess uh, so. How did Mally get in the graveyard? Did, what, did they just pass so much that he ended up having too many cards in his hand? So he had to pitch during the end phase, and then he, next turn, he, I don't, I don't know. I don't know, possibly. Oh. Second row guy just kind of took that damage on the chin. Yeah. You got three back row and none I guess second row player has a bad hand or something. Mm. Okay, dark hole. Well, he doesn't get to summon anything, but he must have a terrible hand. Three back row, <laughs> and he's done nothing, like... Oh, there he is. The fuck is that? Oh, that card. That's very yeah. nice. Yeah. I like how it has Goyo on the picture. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was released after the Goyo was banned. At least he's back. Oh, Curry Bandit. All right. Well, the ranch are on Curry Bandit. Oh, okay. Not, not sure if it's a good idea. I mean, it prevents him from doing overextended plays. Yeah. Uh, I'd say I'd say it was a decent play. Yeah, it might be. I mean, I really can't tell how the tide of this duel is going to go so far, but at least it prevented him from, you know, setting up his graveyard with, like, light swords. Yes, that's like true. That. Or grabbing a soul charge. <laughs> You know, it's like it's like it's like hitting a it's like hitting a max C. Like you hit it, you won for one. You hit it so your opponent doesn't go into more overextended plays next turn. Wow, oh. really? But you won the first duel. Oh, what? <laughs> okay, that was that was really abrupt ending. Really anticlimactic. Yes. Ah, well, I mean, at least the, the video is long enough for a, uh, an episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, I don't know what the hell happened. But, uh, thank you for watching another episode of D&D Commentary. I said, I'll try to try to get someone else to join me. So it's been like, what, double Stonzy, double make chaos. So we need to get Lunar and Slate yes. to join me. <laughs> so thank you for uh, watching this. Uh, thank you for joining me on Mega Chaos. No problem. Do you have anything else to say? No, I'm not really. <laughs> Every single video that you're in. <laughs> <laughs> so be sure to go ahead and subscribe to him in Chaos. His link will be in the description. He puts the videos pretty much almost every day. So definitely yes. check his channel out. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for all the support. See you guys tomorrow. Wait, 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 wait. Wrong series. I'll see you guys next weekend. <laughs> That's uh -huh. so bad. <laughs> I'll see you guys tomorrow with a live video. Ooh, I got you. <laughs> Thanks for watching.